Hello everybody, I am No Name. Before we start, please read the description below for further info. I will explain some of the basic structures. So, did you know that it is possible for a person to not feel touch and gentle pressure on the right arm and on the same time not be able to feel pain, heat, cold and hard pressure on the opposite arm? Weird, isn't it? It is weird because it is all a part of something sensitive. When you get touched you feel it in a sensitive way as for heat, cold and pain. Then if everything is sensitive, why would a person be able to feel touch on the right arm, but not pain, and opposite on the left arm? But there is an explanation and I will try to explain it as simple as possible. Let's get started. First of all you have to know that the brain contains specific areas for arm, leg, face and so on. This is the right side of the brain, and this is the left. Second, as you may know, all parts of the body is connected to the brain and communicate with the brain, they communicate through electric impulse which wanders through the nerves, that means when nerves from your arm tells the brain whether it is cold, hot or so, you start to feel it, but then again, why would a person be able to feel touch on the right arm, but not pain? When we talk about sensibility, we have something called epicritic pathway, and the protopathic pathway. Protopathic is pain, heat, cold and hard pressure, whereas epicritic is gentle pressure and touch. The difference between protopathics and epicritics pathway is that their nerves way up to the brain are not the same. Imagine this. The right arm is touched. It provokes the epicritic sensibility. The receptors from the skin would recognize it and it will start an electric impulse and send it to the brain. This electric impulse makes its way to the spine. Inside the spine there is a bundle of nerves and is divided in two halves. Yes, you guessed it, a right side and a left side. When the electric impulse has reached the spine it goes straight up towards the brain until it reaches oblongata. Inside the oblongata it crosses over and then continues up to this area where it tells the brain that the right arm is gently touched. Same as for gentle pressure. The path is not the same for the protopathic pathway. Now, let's say the left hand touches a hot hob. This will provoke the protopathic sensibility, and these receptors would recognize that. It will start an electric impulse and, like before, the impulse will make its way to the spine. But when this impulse reaches the spine, it crosses over to the right side of the spine. Then the electric impulse makes its way up to the brain. When this electric impulse reaches oblongata, it does not, remember, not cross, like it did for the gentle touch. It goes straight up and reaches this area where it tell the brain, and you, that it is very hot on the hob the same apply for cold, pain and hard pressure. Let me switch over to a new drawing, where you can see the two pathways on both sides. Not to be confused, I made the protopathic pathway of the right arm a little light greener, but it is the protopathic pathway. Now imagine this person, get a fracture or get cut right here. As you can see, some pathways are blocked. And let's follow the two pathways on both sides. The epicritic pathway on the left arm goes to the spine, straight up, crosses, and ends successfully up to the brain. If we look at the protopathic pathway, then it goes to the spine, crosses, and goes straight up, but the path is damaged, which means that the impulse can't reach the brain. And what does that mean? It means that it is possible for the left arm to feel touch and gentle pressure but not pain. On the right arm we also have the pathway, and if we go through the epicritic path, we will go to the spine, and then straight up, but the path is damaged, and the impulse can't reach the brain. And if we take a look on the protopathic pathway, it goes to the spine, crosses, and straight up to the brain, and successfully reaches the area. And what does that mean? It means that right arm is able to feel pain and hard pressure, but is not able to feel gentle pressure and touch. I hope you got fascinated and feel smarter. If you want the drawing, please click on the link in description and there will also be a drawing with further details that you can use if you study neurology, medicine, or just want to feel smarter. And, of course, subscribe for more videos.